Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Hey, behind me, we've got a couple projects <clears throat> that have came in the shop recently. And uh, we're gonna turn this camera around and talk about what the heck we're doing. Uh, it's only uh, late September, but now's a great time to look through that planner, get it in here in the shop, and get it ready to go. Because as we approach December, March region, things are start going to get super busy uh, and, and timing will, will be a lot tighter. So let's turn this around, talk about what we're doing. So here we've got a Massey 8200 12 row. And uh, what we're doing here is a few different things. Uh, first off, he wanted to make some improvements to his Yetter 2995 parallel linkage fertilizer colder. That is that unit right there. Um, he originally had the fluted blades and uh, his knives were pretty well getting to the point of being wore out. So we put the 25 wave blade on there and that 25 wave uh, cuts a little bit larger of a slot, gives more room for the knife to go down in there. And uh, we just like running <clears throat> that blade a little bit better. You can see it's a little bit wider there than what this flute blade is. On this flute blade, the knife is actually wider than the blade. So the knife is doing a lot of the work. Here, it's kind of hard to tell, but the blade is wider than the knife. So that blade is cutting the trench and the knife just riding in it. I also like how these edges <clears throat> crumble the edge of that slot as we're going through to help kind of seal that up. So these are the Yetter Parallel Linkage 2995s. That's what he's using for his uh, two by two fertilizer. Of course, he has a couple tanks up there. So we replace blades and knives. From there, <clears throat> he wanted to tackle the residue management scenario. And so we went with the Yetter Shark Tooth Floating 2967-029. And basically, uh, these can be pinned rigid like they are now from the factory whenever we install them. So you can pin them down to the point where they cannot float. Basically what this does is if you're in super heavy residue and you really need to punch down through it, you may set it in rigid <clears throat> just to get them to get really aggressive. Maybe you're doing double crop beans after wheat or planting into a heavy cover. That could be the scenario that you run. But a lot of times I'll actually run these in float. You can see the multi-hole adjustment. We take this pin out and put this pin underneath this arm so that the pin sets the bottom. So it can't go any lower than that pin, but they can always float up above the pin. That's why I like to run them. Basically at that point, the weight of the row cleaner acts as your down pressure. So we've got the shark tooth with the floater wheel there mounts up real nice and then of course they build in that air cylinder mount so if in the future he ever wanted to control these with a uh, air cylinder we can easily do so it's already building so got those installed and so that pretty much wraps up the 8200 just a pretty quick uh redo on that planner to get it up and running but now He's gonna be ready <clears throat> here before he even starts getting into corn. Over here on the 1790, that's gonna be a little bit more of a chore. Um, this planter, it, it needs, it needs a, a few things. Um, so we started tearing it down and we were going to do, uh, add some fertilizer to it. Actually, I've got some tanks right over here. Those tanks are gonna get mounted up in here somewhere and we're going to do in furrow and so we were taking these blades off and everything and we realized that these seed discs are pretty well shot not only the bearings but also the blades so we called up the customer and and he's going with brand new seed disc openers and then from there <coughs> these tail pieces had a lot of slop in them so we're going to fix that uh and then these gauge wheel arms you can see have seen some better days. So we're gonna go through it, get all of that tackled and taken care of. This is a 1632. So this one may take a little bit longer, but at the end of the day, 
that's going to be a sweet bean planter so got these two broken down here in the shop and uh it's uh it, it was an interesting sight when i came in home from farm science which is in late september and all we did the entire week was talk harvest products yet or devastator south or tillage and i come home we got two planters in the shop so it's always time to go through the planter so give us a call today and thanks for tuning in